Well, a congregation raised $200,000 as well. This one to renovate their church. Only about 15 people go to Mount Gilgal Baptist Church. 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz shows us how that small group raised that money with a whole lot of faith. It feel good. It's a good feeling inside. Pastor Elisa Finney is ready to take the pulpit again at the newly renovated Mount Gilgal Baptist Church. I see it, something go from a 120 year old, 128 year old church to a modern day church with the effort we put into it. Pastor Finney joined the church in 2011. He came with a vision. God gave him the vision to do his will. That vision was to modernize a church built in 1889. Even though the idea was there, the money wasn't. But that didn't stop the 15-member church from raising it. We started with a building fund. Every family had a certain amount that they were pay uh, toward the building fund, excusing their tithes and offering. And it didn't stop there. I learned about the program that Macy's had, which is called Shop for a Cause. You know, it's the process where you give back to the community. In a few years, the church collected $200,000 with the support from a few local businesses. With that money, they fixed deteriorating walls and eventually added new features. The drive through outside, we got the sound, sound booth over there, which we never even had. You know, we've got uh, handicapped bathrooms now. Members are still adding the final touches. After closing the church for about eight months, they're ready to open its doors again, giving thanks to one person. It, it makes you feel good to see. Um, you know, they always call it the faithful few, the faithful few to come out and do the work. And uh, we're not going to take credit for it because we've got to put God first. We're a small congregation, but that goes to show you when you work together and God's in the midst, things can happen. In Dry Branch, Edna Ruiz, 41 NBC News. The church is having a dedication ceremony Saturday, April 22nd. The first service in the newly renovated church will be the following Sunday.